dear Andy Berlis from TV viewers. This is the news program for Andy Berlis from TV. Actions in front of Italian embassies in six different countries for Alfredo Cospo. On 23rd of March, Andy Berlis Front made a call for the national solidarity with Armistice political prisoner Alfredo Cospo, who is on hunger strike to abolish the 41 based isolation regime. As Andy Berlis Front, together with other comrades, with communist and anarchist groups, solidarity groups for political prisoners. We gathered in front of Italian embassies in six different countries for solidarity with Alfredo Cospito. In actions, 162 people participated. Greece, Athens, 60. Austria, Vienna, 28. Germany, Berlin, 25. England, London, 20. Belgium, Brussels, 20. Ireland, Dublin, 9. The hunger strike against Fascist Terror 109 AB law in, in Germany still continues. And that is Haidaroglu that had started in 18 of March and didn't find hunger strike, and Berfinos there that started hunger strike for 30 days, continue the resistance. To demand justice for four revolutionary anti fascist prisoners that imprisoned by German imperialism, Luis Wilhelm Rey, Isanchi Pelikir, Serkanchi Pelikir, and Hassan Nutan. The demands are Four prisoners tried without arrest. Facebook shares and digital evidence should not be used as a criminal evidence. What did Federal Prosecutor Peter Frank has discussed with Erdogan let be announced? The demands of anarchist political prisoner Alfredo Cospito, who is on hunger strike in Italy against 41 peace isolation, must be accepted. Abolished fascist laws 129 AB. All the fascists and revolutionary prisoners should be released. For these demands, they had opened tent in front of Ministry of Justice in Berlin. Many people make solidarity hunger strike in Germany, London, Belgium, Holland. Also, group hearing members started 10 days solidarity hunger strike. An open call is exists for every Saturday for solidarity one day hunger strike. On 2nd of April, an internet conference organized by People's Council in Turkey and held for freedom for revolutionary academician Nuri Gülmen. The main topics were the injustice decision of 10 years imprisonment for Nuri, the attacks of Akipa fascism to the workers who resist, the Ohal state of emergency, the attitude of reformist trade union KESK and the importance to creating a resistance front. Many academicians, lawyers, writers, parliamentarians, and journalists participated in the conference. Solidarity gathering for Gökhan Yildirim in front of Turkish Embassy in London. On 31 of March, People's Front in London organized a gathering in front of Turkish Embassy to express solidarity to Gökhan Yildirim, veteran to death fast resistance in Turkey that occupied fascism, keep him in prison, totally unlawful. Yukan has still health problems because the long-term death was resistant and in prison cannot take his treatment. The people on gathering demanded immediately release of Yukan. On 30th of March, in different cities in Turkey and Europe held an anniversary for revolutionary leader Mahir Chayan and his comrades who had heard martyrs in Kizildere village on 1972. Mahir Chayan and his comrades saw the revolutionary way of struggle in Turkey. Mahir has introduced the theory of new colonialism and also the theory and practice that never surrendered to the enemy. On 3rd of April, a ceremony held in the cemetery of revolutionary artist member of Group Yorum, Helene Bolek. Mother of Helene, Group Yorum members, friends and comrades of Helene participate in commemoration of three years after the martyrdom of the honorable member of music band. Helene and also Ibrahim Gyokchek, murdered by Akipe fascism because they wanted to make free concerts. Israeli occupation forces brutally attacked the Palestinians inside 
Alaska Mosque in Jerusalem. On 5th of April, Israeli occupation forces attacked the Palestinians that were in Alaska Mosque. More than 240 Palestinians are injured by Zionists after Israel attacked by rockets the Gaza Strip. After all this attack by Zionism, Gaza Strip resistance forces defended Palestinians with throwing rockets against Israel. The heroic resistance of Palestinian people is continuing in West Bank and Gaza. <laughs> From TV viewers, here our program is finished. Don't forget to follow us in our social media in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also in our channels in Telegram and YouTube. Because follow Unbirds from TV means following the voice of the people of the world. Thank you very much. See you in the next program.